Hello everybody, it's Rich Sis, but it's Mad Cat's Fear, and I'm here with the second part to the electrokinesis tutorial, which, um, from the first one, if you saw, uh, those techniques allow you to do the other psychonesis abilities, all these psychonesis abilities. Now what we're going to do is we're going to elaborate more, we're going to analyze a video here from, um, Zati Van Dre. He's from um, Instagram. I think you guys have seen him before. So we're going to analyze his videos and I'm, I'm going to um, describe and uh, teach you what's going on, how he's pushing his energy, how he's uh, developing the energy and cultivating it to move objects to electrifiers. We're, we're first, we're going to look at, uh, he's going to light up this uh, flashlight. So I'm gonna, and we're going to analyze it right here and other parts too. So what's going to happen here is that he's going to uh, look within himself, dig deep within himself, and try to find um, the energy source that helped him when he last moved an object. He's trying to uh, provoke that emotional energy to help him move an object. Now it's going to move, see right there, lit up and it rolled. Now what it is is that um, you're working in the darkness, because sometimes um, you need to have good memory retention. Not with... Uh, a photographic memory but just by feeling memory by feeling and sometimes you have to provoke that emotional energy because um, the emotional energy may have came out from your solar plexus or your or your stomach chakra on um, the sacral chakra or the heart but um, the energy can come from anywhere and everywhere like uh, feeling from emotional uh, um, in the back of your neck or the, 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 the lower back of your body things like that so you have to learn to retain and remember that emotional energy and just provoke it. Make it come out, make it work out. You see how he's working hard to make it work. He's kind of blowing and pushing. Now right here, you're going to see him right here. Um, he's trying to provoke and manifest that energy because it's kind of lacking. The object isn't moving. He's feeling it. Right now, see he's blowing in. He's trying to just provoke any energy from anywhere, from inside of him. Wherever that energy is lurking is going to uh, come out. It could be from the sh heart chakra or from the sacral chakra in the stomach or the seeing it moves. And a, a lot of times you have to provoke that lacking energy. You can see him kind of working at it. He, right there, he's going to start see him blowing in, kind of like, <sighs> kind of like stressing a little bit, kind of pushing and kind of like uh, searching and digging deep. You could barely see him, but you could see in his mouth right there. You could just see that he's digging deep to find that, that the energy. Now, these are the kind of things that you might have to start working on. Um, just like in my previous video, um, a lot of times uh, you can combine a, a f uh, the feeling of anticipation and uh, good visualization. But all those things become organic when you, when you start to move the object. You just start to uh, learn how to equip anticipation and visualization as your tools it just happens organically and I was and that's how I learned and I was just teaching you guys and so uh, right here we're gonna watch a video of him knocking over an object outside using some aerokinesis and he's also using the water as energy the energy comes from not only the air but from the water so it's hydro um, arrow there's a lot of life there a lot of life force that the water has a lot of power and the air has a lot of power so working with air kinesis does work and it helps a lot with developing your powers and it works with developing psychonesis as a whole because you're working with the elements of the earth outside and this is what this guy does a lot he spends a lot of time outside knocking over um, um, rolling logs or huge tree branches with uh, fruits on top of them. Um, he does a lot of that, and he also works, continues to work with side wheels. You know, that's his uh, foundation, that's his structure, that's uh, um, how he's built himself upon, and that's why you shouldn't feel ashamed of working side wheels. Side wheels is, found, is like a basic thing. It's like um, working uh, with the with the basic tools to get where you're at. Try to work. Try to work on emotional memory retention. Try to provoke or create an emotional sensation in your body by thinking of things that emotionally drive you, or something like that. Just work on something that provokes that energy inside and mix it with your intention, and that's how you develop and and make your abilities come to life. So, so just remember to stick to it. Um, make sure to be patient. Don't be too anxious. And you will grow and you will develop and, and uh, you'll be able to do the things that we're doing. You know, this is me right here from my live stream. Uh, one of my first live streams, uh, rolling a can with the Chi Energy, telekinesis. And uh, for the new subscribers, just subscribe and watch the videos and learn. You guys can do it. And read my uh, community section because that has a lot of deeper um, information that may not be found on my videos about the enteric nervous system and about uh, working with aerokinesis and things like that. 
and uh, working with uh, how to develop your chi energy and all that stuff with telekinesis. And yeah, just have faith, you guys. To all my old subscribers, thank you guys for sticking by and watching and having patience with me. I hope my videos help you guys a lot. I hope you guys are will grow. Stick with it, you will. This is Rich Cispides, Mad Cat Sphere. God bless, and take care, everyone. Take care.